Hi guys, how are we all? Hope we're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Hold on, I think we go for what? You saying hi everyone? She hi. She hi. You wake up there. Um, how are we all? Hope we're all doing well. It's been a while since we've done a haul. I feel like a really long while. Um, and I'm not going to lie, I'm over the moon that I'm doing a haul for Nasty Gal. Like what the fuck? Like actual Nasty Gal? Like that big, big brand Nasty Gal? I'm, I'm, Coco. I'm just confused how it's, how it's happened. I still don't get it, but hey ho, here we are. So, I thought I'd do like a proper try on haul, where like I actually try the outfits on screen. Um, and what I'll also do is I'll also pop up like a mirror photo and video of me wearing the outfit as well. Um, just because I kind of think sometimes when the lens and all that's changed, it can look a little bit different. So it might be quite good to kind of see it like actually tried on and then also on a mirror. So the whole point of this haul is basically I want to kind of like show how you can wear one outfit a few ways. So some outfits might be worn, two seconds, Coco's going mental. So like one outfit might just be one way or one outfit might be two or three ways. Just kind of like different ways you can kind of casual up or dress down an outfit. I feel like a lot of people think you can only really wear one outfit once or maybe even the influencers don't rewear outfits. I know that I do. I constantly rewear outfits. If I love an outfit, best believe it's going back on my body more than once. Um, I think as well, see when you spend money on an outfit, you deserve to wear it numerous times. Like that's the whole point in clothing. Whoever came up with the idea that it's a one outfit rule, one time rule, they should take back that rule. So, let's just get into it i'm really excited most most of the outfits are i would say are more kind of party wear or date night or even maybe on holiday um and then you can obviously style them down so like this one for example i've started off a little bit more casual so this top um is basically kind of like knitty kind of meshy kind of top um and I just paired this with black jeans. Now, as you can see, the sleeve detail on this one, it's kind of like, um, like slip. And I absolutely love like, the black and white pattern. I really think it's quite flat. Then, now, you can pull this down and make it longer. You could probably even tuck it in to your jeans if you wanted. Um, but I've just kind of tucked it here and then ruffled up. And it's actually staying up as well. Like, I don't really feel like I need to tie it or anything like that. So I really, really love this. I've, like I said, I've just paired this with black jeans and then I've just paired it with my night dunks, which obviously you've seen in the photo and video there. Now, this is just like a typical casual outfit. This is like my day-to-day -day kind of wear. I'd wear this if I was going for like a spot of lunch or breakfast or going for like a Nando's, just kind of like casual wear. But I feel that you could definitely dress this top up, whether it be like blue or black denim shorts and like little black strappy heels. Um... You could even put this on on holiday, guys, because the material is so light and so stretchy. Like, you could wear this, like, on top of, like, bikini bottoms if you're just wanting something to fling on. So there's really loads of ways in which you can wear it. So I'm going to pop this on with a little skirt as well, guys, um, and some cute heels. And you can see how I style it. But I absolutely love outfits that you can dress casual and dress fancy. Especially see if you're going maybe like away for the weekend or even like away for the night and you've literally got a trolley dolly and you need to try and pack as many outfits in that one case it is so so hard. So this is quite good because it will kind of show you different ways in which you can wear it. I can't take myself seriously because my hair is so brown at the moment. It's well overdue a hair appointment. So I'm practically a brunette. Which is quite weird. Last time you seen me I was a blonde. So... Yes, so let's just quickly jump in to same top, different bottoms. 
Okay, so next is the same top as I was saying guys, but with this little mini skirt with the kind of same kind of colour contrast and detail. So like the black with the kind of little white rim. Now this is actually kind of sold with a top that I will show you as like another way to kind of multi-wear the same outfit. So for example, you can wear this top with your jeans, your denim shorts or this skirt. Then you can wear this skirt with other outfits as well. And then I've just popped this on with like little heels, which obviously you can see in the photo and video there. Now the material on this skirt as well, guys, is stunning it's really really nice and thick sometimes with like mini skirts when it's that really tight cheap material and the black when it's stretched is kind of like borderline see-through like that's my pet hate whereas this one it's really really thick the material is really really nice as well and i kind of love that black and white contrast now you could probably put this on with like an oversized blazer kind of just on your shoulder you can put this on with white heels you can probably put them with a white blazer you can really kind of multi-wear this and even along when I show you like a kind of cord part of this skirt if this top wasn't for you you could take the top off and do like a plain black vest top a black bralette a black t-shirt a black blazer it was kind of loads of different ways in which you can style it but this would be really cute for like a little date night or if you're going for like dinner and drinks with the girls but it's nothing major fancy. Um, I absolutely love it. Now another thing I think you could do is swap out your heels and pop on like a little black boot, like a Doc Martin boot. Um, and kind of go more grungy vibes, you could put on like an oversized leather jacket with it. So there is actually quite a few ways in which this outfit can be worn so you're definitely going to get your money's worth so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to jump on and pop on the cord part of the skirt because when i seen it i thought straight in my basket you go it's just this is a kind of outfit i'd wear it my exes you know like i'm sorry but if this doesn't scream abby blythe i'm sorry but you don't know me like you really don't this is just this just screams wealth like i look like i have money in this outfit like money money i also feel like it's really flattering i love the contrast of the colors i love the fact that most of the outfit is black i feel like that's kind of the most flattering part and then you get that kind of little bit of white detail you've also got the detail kind of here on like the little pocket i just think it's really flattering like obviously i'm just back a holiday so i do have an actual tan and i just think it really pops with a really nice tan and i honestly feel like even although the material guys is like super thick like i'll try and show you but the material is nice and thick it's not like flimsy but it's also not like too thick that you couldn't wear like a nice night on holiday you could also unbutton the blazer and just have on like a black or white lace bra um, and kind of go like a little bit more like nightclubby vibe. Um, but this is just, this outfit is just me to a T. Like this is very much something that you would see me in. Like if you go on my Instagram feed, this is very much the vibe. Um, I absolutely love it and you will most definitely be seeing this on my feed. And I also feel like with this outfit, if you were going to wear like a city break like London you could wear this at night and then you could pop on with docks if you literally didn't have room for loads of outfits or you could put this blazer on with like high waist black flare trousers or black jeans or even like a wee denim short and like a black heel at night time like there's loads of ways that you can kind of wear these together and make it look different or you can both wear them separately and make them look different so i feel like that's like the good thing with outfits of this is try to think right look are you a one-time outfit or are you a multi-wear um and i absolutely love it i am actually going out today but i don't know if it's this fancy i don't know if i'm being a bit extra but hey okay, home as well um i don't like to take this off I think I might go take loads of photos myself in this because I don't want to take it off. I don't want to take it off, I don't want to do it, I don't want to take it off. Um, right, okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to move on. We are going to change this up a little bit. So, next outfit, I 
I'm going to show you is one that when I seen it, I was like, oh, wow, I wonder if I'll even suit that. So I want to show you. I think it will be absolutely beautiful. So let's just quickly move on to the next outfit. Wow. Okay, guys. So I'll pop up the photo and video here so you can actually see this outfit for what it really is. Now, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. I hope you can't hear it too much. I am living in a building site right now. There's really not much I can do about that noise. I'm really, really sorry. I'll try and talk a bit louder. Um, this outfit, oh my God, this skirt is just everything. So this outfit is perfect, I think, if you're going to night out. Like if you're going to night clubbing with the girls and you want to wear something really, really bougie, this outfit is the one. Like I'm not even joking, guys. This skirt in real life, I don't know if the colours are picking up on screen, but they're like kind of borderline, kind of neon-y. Um, and I love the fact that it's those kind of tones. And even although the skirt doesn't give definition to like, your body shape, I feel like you kind of don't need it because that's the style of the skirt. Now, I've just paired this with a plain white t-shirt and then white heels just to kind of show you more like a casual dressy way of wearing it. So yeah, okay, I've got heels on, but maybe because the skirt's so much, for some people that might be quite like out your box or a little bit too much. So I've kind of just then styled it with a plain white t-shirt just so that you are kind of bringing that kind of aspect of it being a little bit too fancy back. Now, of course, you could dress this to the max. You could have on a bralette, a white crop top, a crop blazer, like your world's your oyster. Um, but I kind of do like the idea of the skirt being this kind of stealing and showing and everything else being really simple. And that was why I went for just like your plain white strap heel, which are also from Nasty Girl. Which, by the way, Nasty Girl's shoe collection is the elite. Like, it's so good. Like, their cowboy boots for festivals are amazing. I've got so many shoes from Nasty Girl. And I'd honestly got to say they're some of the comfiest heels I've ever got. Like, even these ones, sometimes with that middle toe bit, they can be quite uncomfortable. But they're actually not. They're really comfy. And I love them. So this is like outfit one. So this is like dinner and drinks for the girls or maybe you're going on a little date and you know, just saying. Now, if I had thought of this outfit when Transmit was here in Glasgow, I would have wore this with black dot boots, oversized black leather jacket and kind of grunged it up. I could have put on like a black belt or like a diamante belt, which I do have in my drawer. Like even like like a belt with this, like a diamante belt, you could kind of grunge this, this outfit up. So yeah, you could definitely style this outfit down if you've got like a festival coming up or anything like that. Because the skirt is kind of like the main centre stage. It's, it's all about me, that type of skirt. So what I am going to do is I'm going to kind of show you now another way of wearing it. Um, that I'm really, really dying to put together. Um, now, if I was really body confident, like I do have on a white, just like a simple white bra. Now, you could totally get away with like cutting your t-shirt to like here and wearing your outfit like that. Or you could literally just do the bra if you're confident enough. Me, I'm not, but if, if it's for you, do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on another way. I think you could probably wear this outfit and it'd be absolutely gorgeous. Okay guys, so this blazer, again in real life, is even more gorgeous. The colour is just, honestly, like wait till the girls at Aquarius see this, this will definitely get bought. So I've kept on the same skirt, now I know there's a lot happening here, I'm like woo, um, but for some people that's a vibe and I'm not going to lie, I really do like it, like I feel like it does quite go like being this kind of mental outfit. I would probably wear this like on holiday because even though it's a fluffy skirt guys, the inside material is just like you're kind of satin, so it's not hot, it's not heavy either. It's actually quite lightweight for there being a lot of like a lot of fluff. Um, but I think again, this is gorgeous. I've kept it on with the white heels. I feel like you like you can kind of dress this up in so many different ways, and I do love this blazer. Like I think this blazer, honestly, I, just, I mean, it speaks for itself. I really don't need to say much. I'm just wondering, could I pay those workmen just to leave? Like, how many is them all of the working today? Could they just leave? 
Like, what's your hourly rate? Could we make a deal? Is that nice? I'm so sorry, guys. This is just what happens when you build a new, when you buy a new build and I've literally built the site. Um, so yeah, I know this outfit might not be for everyone. It's a little bit, you know, out there, but I do absolutely love it. I think the blazer, again, you could wear this just with jeans, which I will show you next. Um, and you can kind of style it those of different ways. So this is another outfit that I absolutely love that I kind of wish I had plans for tonight, but I don't. I feel like I'm going to like lot low ones like I'm going to like countryside. I feel like they would have a heart attack if I came out like this. Or maybe that's the intention. Um, right, I'm going to literally jump into the next outfit because I want to show you this blazer in a more casual setting. So, okay, so he started back his shite again, but hey ho. Okay, so next outfit, guys, is the same blazer. Now, this is probably more like casual dinner, just dinner with the girls, or maybe like dinner with the boyfriend like nothing too fancy now i've just kept on that same bra i popped this on with a pair of jeans and the blazer and then i put back on the white heels just because it ties in with the bra now if like the bra is just too much you can pop this on like a plain white crop top or to be honest you could actually get away with like you wouldn't need to kind of wear anything i would probably still wear some form of support bra kind of like underneath it but like it does button up and it is quite nice buttoned up because I don't know if you can see but it, even when it's buttoned it kind of has like a V here so it's not like too oversized and it's like kind of overlapping and things like this Um, I really do like it if you can or you have a pair of like stunning kind of similar colour purple heels I would 100% go with that as well and again you could kind of go a little bit darker because of fringing is a little bit darker and I also feel like even although probably a lot of what it seems a lot when it's on I don't feel like I'm wearing like a pure dramatic outfit or anything like that so this is another winner for me and this is a typical me outfit and again you could if you wanted to you could do this a little bit more casual you could fling off the heels pop on a converse pop on like a chunky white trainer or salt and you can kind of unbutton it again and have the bra and the trainer kind of tie in together so there's like loads of ways in which each item can be worn so that's like a real good bonus and also guys the quality and all the nasty gal blazers coming from the blazer queen um or as so i like to tell myself um the quality is amazing the color in this one i just can't go over like honestly i'm waiting for the aquarius girls to see this blazer and want the link it is absolutely gorgeous so i'm now going to move on to our next outfit um which is a little bit fancier but it can be dressed down wow guys so this next outfit i need to pop up loads of photos and videos so you get the full gist of it the material is gorgeous the pattern like the puffy kind of mesh sleeves like this outfit is just oh like honestly if i had an abroad wedding like this would be my outfit or like if i was going to italy or like the amalfi coast just anywhere that's like the most beautiful backdrop this would be the outfit i would wear like it's absolutely like i feel like it looks super expensive like it looks like a like probably thousands of pounds like expensive dress now I am not a long dress type of gal so I really love the fact this dress is short at the front and then really long at the back. That's kind of my go to. I actually have always kind of said this would probably be the style of wedding dress that I go for because I don't suit like full length long dresses. Um, but I'm sorry like the material guys in this outfit is just like to die for. Imagine this like on a broad wedding, the sun, like you've got a pure nice gorgeous tan, you could put something in your hair, like it's just, um, bury me in it, okay, bury me in this. I just think as well, like it looks so expensive and I think like when we have my hair quite curly today, like the whole vibe, it's really girly, it's really cute. Now you could grunge this, you could fully, now I've obviously popped this on first, sorry, with the heels, but 
you could scrap the heels and you could put this on like a black dot boot oversized leather jacket if you've got a festival to go to the only problem you would have is it trailing but that depends on the length um but like you could totally kind of grunge just down for a festival like you could pop a black belt on you could put on a fedora hat there's like loads of ways i feel However, I feel that this dress needs its own moment and like with simple heels, a simple bag, you're given at the moment that it needs like, it's just, I feel like it's so flattering on and I absolutely love it. So I feel like the outfits that I've showed you so far guys are amazing outfits for kind of date night, girls night, out with your BF, out with your GF, like out with the girls, town, nightclub, that vibe. If you have a wedding you could also get away with wearing this because it's not like white it's like baby pink i don't know if it's shown um so it's not like you're going to upstage your bride i mean you could but at least it's not white so what i am going to do guys i'm now going to jump in to finish off with a little bit more casual outfit just to finish off the haul for you guys um with like a kind of comfy outfit because i'm probably going to just wear that today because i'm literally looking at it and i'm like you look comfy as hell and I want to get that on. Um, so let me quickly change and then we can run through everything. Okay, so last outfit guys is just honestly like so comfy and I just absolutely love the colours. I feel that this haul has been kind of a mix of like really colourful or kind of really more simple. Um, now this is a little bit bold for me. I wouldn't usually wear this colour. However, I absolutely love it. Now this sweater is amazing quality guys. It's super thick i love the mix of like peaches with the pinks and the yellows and the greens um it's like a very much me outfit to a tee now i just popped this on with kind of green joggers to kind of tie in the color and then trainers you could pop this on like a little green bag which i will show you two seconds like i've just got this little green bag here which matches the joggers perfectly and i think as well it's just like a super cute casual outfit but maybe if you had somewhere to be, like you're maybe going a weekend away and you've got like breakfast next day or lunch and you kind of just want to be cute, comfy, but also look like you've put together an outfit and you're not just flung on a tracksuit. So this is a little bit different from that, but I absolutely love it. And again, you can style these just joggers with a plain t-shirt. You can style them with a sweatshirt, a blazer, dress it up. These, Coco, stop it darling. The, the top you can style with like jeans and you can put on like a little coral heel if you were just going for a casual dinner. Um, so there is actual loads of ways in which you can style this wee outfit that is actually more casual but could be more dressy. So sometimes I feel like that's a thing as well where people are like how would you dress it up? Honestly guys there's nothing sometimes better than a pair of jeans and a set of heels and I think if you can kind of get the colours to match either by going with like a pink or a coral and popping it on my jeans you could easily wear this to dinner but I'm definitely going to just wear this today because I'm having a comfy day but I absolutely love it so I hope you guys have loved a lot of these outfits if you have I will have everything linked below um with all my sizing I have stuck with my true size which is like a size 10 if there's a 12 or anything I will mention which I don't think there is a fluffy skirt maybe but if it is I'll mention that below um but yeah if you guys have any questions on the outfits or you want me to help me style them just let me know if you get anything and you wear it please tag me i like to kind of see us wear the same outfits you are going to be seeing me wear these on my instagram going forward um i actually have a lose capaldi concept so i probably will wear one of these outfits to lose capaldi because i need something to wear um but i absolutely love this this is a very much a me outfit me vibe this whole haul and i also just want to say a massive thank you to nasty gal one for sponsoring this video which is wild but also just for working with me like nasty gal has been a company guys that i have shopped at for years i've never worked with them before um so anything you've seen from me from nasty gal has always been bought it's genuine and this is really a quite a big moment for me in my career that i'm getting to work with nasty gal so i really do appreciate it um, and I obviously appreciate all the support but like I said any questions either comment below I am going to be getting better at replying to everyone and we're back on the YouTube front we're back to two videos a week I have been a bit MIA I do have my reasons don't need to bore you with them um, but yeah we're back into the swing of things so anything else you want to see in other hauls 
vlogs are back or actually vlogging at the moment just let me get know and we can get that sorted um but yeah any questions then feel free to write below or in the dms on instagram i will put my instagram up there for you just now um but thank you so so much for watching tag me in all your photos and i love you so much bye i think it's my nails that's how it feels well. <laughs>